It is May 2nd, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. If you haven't deployed an app to production at 4.59 p.m. on Friday that accidentally deletes a production database, causing your entire team to work all weekend while the company loses a billion dollars on its market cap while you go fishing and get fired on Monday, you haven't really lived. Developers are terrified of screwing things up when deploying apps, which is why platforms like Vercel, Netlify, Heroku, and Firebase are incredibly popular. When your boss says, All you gotta do is not f up. The obvious solution is to use a platform to handle deployment for you. Vercel is the platform of choice for Next.js deployments, but the one big thing it's missing is a database. Well, not anymore. Just yesterday, Vercel announced not one, not two, not three, but four new databases. Everybody in tech wants to sell you a fully managed database. It's a huge multi-billion dollar industry with tons of competition in the startup ecosystem, and rightfully so because managing a database is extremely difficult. And if you screw things up, it's game over. Let's see what Vercel has to offer. In my opinion, the most exciting new option is Vercel Postgres, serverless SQL for the front-end cloud, which is an SQL database powered by Neon. Neon is an awesome product, and coincidentally, I used it when building my new Next.js 13 course, which is now available to Fireship Pro members if you want to learn all about it. What's nice about this database is that it scales automatically, it's fault-tolerant, and has a nice UI that's just easy to work with. Basically, all you do is click a button, add your database connection link to the environment, and then you can start writing raw SQL code directly in a server component with Next.js. It also integrates nicely with libraries like Kisily and my personal favorite, Prisma. While Neon is definitely awesome as a building block, it's still quite a ways behind tools like Supabase that have a really advanced UI where you can do row-level security, procedures, and a bunch of other stuff. We've also done a full course on Supabase, but I don't think Vercel is going for that full back-end as a service approach. I think they want to be more of a front-end cloud that provides you with a bunch of different infrastructure options. One funny side note for Next.js users is that in the blog post, it looks like they leaked the details for a new API called Server Actions. Apparently that'll be announced Thursday, but basically it looks like you can create server functions alongside your components to handle form submissions without needing to create API routes. This is an awesome feature, and I'm glad to see that Next is finally stealing it from Remix. But now let's check out database number two, Vercel KV, a key value store like Redis based on Upstash. Key value databases are extremely easy to use, but more importantly, they're extremely fast because unlike most databases, the data is held in memory instead of on the disk. Well, it is stored on disk as well, but because because it's also in memory, you get extremely fast reads, making it ideal as a cache for your data. Database number three is edge config, which allows you to distribute configuration variables across the edge network, providing virtually instant reads for things like feature flags if you do A-B testing, or if you have a list of malicious IPs, you could store them on the edge and then use Next.js middleware to block those requests. And finally, that brings us to database number four, Vercel Blob. It's based on Cloudflare R2, which allows you to store large amounts of unstructured data, like images and PDF files, on the edge. In other words, it's a replacement for storage buckets like S3, and that could be a game changer if your app does file uploads. The SDK is incredibly simple. All you do is await a call to put with the file that you want to upload, and it returns you with a download URL. That's pretty awesome, but one limitation currently is that the max file upload size is four megabytes. However, that should increase after the beta phase. Vercel gets a lot of attention, but what you might have missed is that Dino also just released its own global key value database. It's based on FoundationDB, which is developed by Apple, and is extremely fast while also supporting consistency and ACID transactions. And the API is incredibly easy to use with zero setup. Choosing a database in 2023 is harder than ever. If you thought the JavaScript framework war was bad, it's nothing compared to the database war, where companies have billions of dollars at stake, all competing to store your data. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.